the CIA. Senator John McCain, who was himself tortured, who had information extracted from him by torture when he was held for five and a half years as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. Senator John McCain has taken it upon himself to debunk right-wing claims about torture leading to Osama bin Laden's death. Senator McCain giving an impassioned 20-minute speech on the Senate floor attempting to correct the record. Many advocates of these techniques have asserted their use on terrorists in our custody, particularly Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, revealed the trail to bin Laden. That is false. It was not torture or cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment of detainees that got us the major, the major leads that ultimately enabled our intelligence community to find Osama bin Laden. I hope former Attorney General McCasey will correct his misstatement. I use this word with reservations, but it is inconceivable to me that this particular Republican presidential candidate will not take this back. Did you hear about what Rick Santorum has done? Presidential candidate Rick Santorum, speaking to conservative talk radio host Hugh Hewitt, said this of John McCain's views on torture as they relate to Osama bin Laden. Quote, he doesn't understand how enhanced interrogation works. I mean, you break somebody and after they're broken, they become cooperative. And that's when we got this information. And one thing led to another and led to another. And that's how we ended up with bin Laden. A, not true. B, what? Quoting again from this interview, Hugh Hewitt says, your former colleague John McCain said, look, there's no record, there's no evidence here that these methods actually led to the capture or the killing of bin Laden. Do you think he's got an argument? Rick Santorum, I don't. He doesn't understand how enhanced interrogation works. Rick Santorum says John McCain does not understand torture the way that Rick Santorum does.